everyone needs someone. My name is Masaret. Here is my story. I grew up in Ethiopia in a family of seven. I have three sisters and a brother. I am the eldest of my family. So with that, I always knew the responsibilities I bear. I was tasked to be a role model to my younger siblings. I was a caregiver. I was also have to honor my family, to make my family proud. You see, my family, especially my father, he is someone who believes in determination, hard work, exploring your destiny, when even someone tells you not to do, that someone tells you you can't do. He is the one, someone who shaped my core, my guiding principle. He is someone who loves and dedicates his time to his job. He has this principle belief in science. When I was a kid, I remember I never had maybe one and two those fairy tale books. He used to buy me a lot of science books. So I used to read those books. That's when my journey of loving the story of science started. I enjoyed those books. They were my initiation. At my younger age, at my early school age, I was in the, in the classroom, a kid who annoys her teacher, questioning a lot of questions, very annoying. Some of them are relevant, some of them are not. But still, I always question. I remember, I, I, know, I always annoy my math teacher. I was in grade four or five. He always rep rep wants to sit down. I never sit down. I went back home and asked my father why he did that. And he told me, you go, do whatever you like. That's when I believed in myself, because my father was, he had this conviction, he believed in me that I would become a scientist someday. That continued, that journey continued through my high school years. I was very good at science. I was a public debater. But when I passed my um, university examination, I chose to be, I wanted to learn medicine. I want to be a doctor, want to heal people. But uh, I was rather assigned to study agriculture. So that was the biggest disappointment I ever felt. That actually, I almost fell apart. It shook me, it shook my core. But I kept thinking, I remember, yeah, I, I wanted to be a doctor, but still, the passion I had for science kept me going, that I can also be an agriculture scientist, that science is not limited to certain fields. It is a state of mind that every young African across this continent is believed in, wants to go out and explore. So with that state of mind, I went to university. My university stay was rather very fun and enjoyable. I was becoming independent, yet exploring my destiny as agriculture student. My four years actually shaped my understanding and also interest in crop science. So that's when I actually um, decided to pursue my graduate and PhD studies, and then I finished my PhD study and I went back to university to continue to learn and also educate. So, presently, I, am, I teach crop science to university students. They remind me of my younger self. They are hungry to learn, to go out to the world, to do research, to become scientists. I'm passionate about them. I'm passionate to teach them, to equip next generation. But also, we, their humbleness grounds me that it reminds me what my father told me, that core principle that I have to believe in them so that they believe in themselves. I do that in everyday advisorship, everyday supervision I do with them. So the reason I do what I do is I want to use science 
to help solve agriculture problems. I want to use science to help climate change impacts in Africa. I do research in crop adaptation to climate change. I develop tools, I develop methods and the techniques that our farmers will utilize them. Uh, will utilize them or inform them to make decisions. But I always keep reminded that that young child, that still there are lots of things we have to do. Collectively, as African agriculture scientists, we have been told over and over again that African agriculture is backward, it is failed, that solutions should come from somewhere else, that someone should come and solve our problem. But I believe in agri African agriculture scientists that we are able, we are here to change the story, that we are more than capable to innovate and create new technology for African farmers. So, scientists like my fellow One Planet laureates here are here because our words and so many others believe in us that we can be change agents, we can be lead scientists, we can be lead researchers. We can write our story so that we can go and solve our problem. And I believe that agric African agriculture scientists are ready now to take the button, to go back and do the work. And this brings me back to the beginning of my story. Everyone needs someone to believe in them. Will you be that someone? Someone who wants to believe, to so believe someone so that they can go change African agriculture system, so that they build climate resilient tools and technologies that our farmers will utilize, that build knowledge base that informs our policy and the decision makers, that you will go equip and teach next generation Africans. I implore to you, will you be that, that someone to invest on these young Africans? Will you be those Africans who go on to do the work? Let's, so, this is my last message, that let's go do the work. Let's, Africa let's make Africa proud. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs>